Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight I'm in Lumber Tycoon 2 with a clown. Hello, I'm a clown. He's a, he's a clown. Actually, this is my bucket. Hey, what's up, my bucket? What's up? Yeah, um, I'm I underscore I, better known as Ma underscore Bucket, better known in the Lumber Tycoon 2 community as the director and um, sort of like planner for Beesmas. 2017 and Beesmas 2018. And Beesmas 2019 coming up soon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, he is a Roblox developer. Um, were you part of the Incubator program at one time? Uh, no, I wasn't. Oh, dang. So, uh, not part of the Incubator program, but uh, known to the Roblox developer community and uh, also an amazing programmer of uh, Throw Your Money Into a Fire. Yeah, that's that's sure is a game that I made. So, that's actually uh, something I contributed to, just because I believe in the same fact of purchasing <coughs> seats at a virtual convention that you don't get to attend. <coughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyhow, we're going to be playing tonight, and uh, he's going to be asking questions and answering questions, and I'm going to be asking questions, answering questions, just kind of hanging out. Like, uh, yeah, most of my videos, no plan, just... Hanging out, yeah. having fun. So, um, let's see. Go ahead and start with uh, what you were saying about the uh, the business. Oh yeah. So let me tell you about the the old tale about the, the start of business. Everyone's favorite holiday. A whitelist. Let me paint. Let me paint a nice picture for you. To the long, long gone days of 2015. Every year on the Roblox platform. The Roblox admins put together a Christmas celebration where they gave gifts to every user on the website for doing tasks on the website. And myself and a lot of other people loved these holidays that they did. But unfortunately, they're also like problematic for the staff to run. And a lot of people would kind of ruin it for others. Um, so what I did is in, starting in 2016, mostly just on my Discord server, I ran this um, little present hunt for my friends where I'd give them a little um, hint to where I hid this gift for them and then they'd go and find it and, and I'd like it was just like a code that they'd find it and they'd tell me the code and I was like hey you found the code here's your gift and the gifts back then weren't really anything special um, but then in 2017 which is when it sort of got big is I wanted to expand on, on that whole idea and get a lot of other developers involved in making um, gifts and putting them in their game and tying them all together with um, business. So, like, for the first year, um, the second day was Lumber Tycoon 2, this game right here. You may have heard of it. <laughs> um, a, yeah, and that's how a, everyone... Side game. <laughs> yeah, and that's how everyone kind of found it, is, like... I know the Lumber Tycoon 2 community loves big, big puzzles, and Beesmas is certainly a big, big puzzle across multiple games. So, yeah. And so... Um, <laughs> we love figuring out complicated puzzles. Like, um, the Lumber Tycoon 2 community is huge on... Stuff like crypto, which I yeah. didn't think was going to be a thing, but um, like the um, the Shrine of Sight, that was a huge undergoing or undertaking, just because of the amount of uh, stuff you had to figure out with the pixels and that it was a, a face and that there was two gray pixels and specific yeah. spots. That was a huge puzzle. That was an awesome puzzle. I was there for that. Um, that was like the first big puzzle I participated on for Lumber Tycoon. And it was it was crazy to me that um, Defaultio can make a puzzle that could take, was it like three whole months for it to be solved? Mm -hmm. That's an insane amount of time for like a puzzle in the game on Roblox. I figured I figured out it was the picture. I, fig I figured out it was the picture. <laughs> oh, are you the one? Uh, I didn't figure out like the order or that yeah. the, it was in like eight different quadrants, <laughs> but I knew it was pixel art. So and all that all that puzzle for a painting of Squidward. Mm-hmm. Bold and brash, which is now like a 
hot commodity. Like, if you don't have a Squidward picture. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, did you want to whitelist me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it says false. Uh, I, I put you on the whitelist. Did it not work? There you yeah, go. there it goes. That worked. Cool, cool. Um, as far as um, successful, well, I, I won't say successful. What is your favorite game that you've uh, worked on? Uh, favorite game that I've worked on. That's a good question. Um, so I made this game uh, last year, I'd say, called um, Grab the Child. Many Child to Collect, Grab. It's a really strange name for a game, and I think that's um, a good thing, because a game with a strange name will make people want to click on it and see what that strange name means. And what this whole game is, is basically you just um, have a vending machine, and you buy capsules out of the vending machine that have little guys in them that you collect and put on your um, little map there. And that's the entire game. There's no point to any of it, and I wanted to see how long people would want to play a game like that. And, last I checked, people are still playing it after a whole year. <laughs> I feel like that's a testament to how, like, simple concepts could make really good games. Mm -hmm. It's simple, yet it's got a very complex psychological meaning behind it. Yeah. I like that. You might have noticed that all of my like personal projects um, are kind of like big experiments to see if it would work, mm -hmm. if people would play something like that. Like you mentioned before, throw money into a fire, mm -hmm. which is just a game where you burn your money and you never get to see that money again. Just just out of curiosity, uh, how much revenue did you, did that make for you? And you you don't have to tell um, the number, but like. Let's just say it's somewhere over 300,000 Robux. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's it's worrying to me. It, that's what it is. <laughs> I have a, um, in my personal Discord server, I set up a um, channel on there, which has a bot that tells me every time someone burns money in that game and how much they burn. So you saw the increments of each one of my... Uh... Dom, dom, domination, dom, uh, uh, donation, donations. Yeah, yeah, it's in there somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got at least a, a screenshot of each one for you. Yeah. Um, next big project. Anything big coming up? Um, well. I can't say any specifics, but I really want to try making a project outside of Roblox, which I think um, is something that I'm ready for. Like, um, I don't know. I don't want to say anything about it, really. Okay. I want it to be a surprise. Hey, uh, before you throw these logs in, smack them yeah. at least once with your uh, your axe to take back ownership. Oh, okay. Um. What I've figured out is like the logs, whoever the last person is to cut them or chop them or whatnot, that technically becomes the owner during whitelist. Yeah. So, if that you makes sense. Them, hit them to take them back, then when you sell them, they should be yours. Yeah. This poor cherry tree, it could have been a beautiful floor, but instead, it's just being sold away. Yeah, I also didn't realize that um, Defaultio actually put deforest land around you. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. Deforestation and stuff. It's uh, anti-green. Green. <laughs> uh, what do you mean it's anti-green? Don't you see all this green in here? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Money's green, too, so. Yeah. I'd say this game is pro one green and anti another. <laughs> There you go. He does base everything on capitalism, doesn't he? What's well, more fun? <laughs> uh, that one didn't have chop. That one didn't. Oh, hit it! Oh hit no! It. Hit it! 
Oh. Hit it! No! Hit it. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it, I think. <laughs> I heard I heard the chop. Uh, have you ever gotten the green box? The green box? I haven't been. I've heard of it, though. I heard that I heard that it's actually white. Yeah. It... <laughs> okay, so you've seen the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the green box. It's it's green. It's it shines green. It's it's green around it. it makes you green when you're near it. <clears throat> I don't know if he's ever fixed the safe zone. Uh, as of recently, here hop in. Oh. As of recently, he. Uh, where where do you want to go? Mm, let's check out. Uh, I just check out your little establishment here. Oh. Oh. Yep, yep, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. Oh, okay. Here, I'll go park. And here we go. <laughs> I haven't vacuumed in a while, huh? Oh no, this is a messy, messy base. Of course, uh -huh. if I'm in a public server, people are all the time, Go private! Oh my god, I love you! Can I give you presents? And I'm like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. And then I get stuff like this. Truckloads of stuff. Well, you never know. You might need those fire axes. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. And I was never around for the original fire axe, so. Yeah. <sighs> I missed it. Yeah, I was I was playing playing a little bit in 2015. I got I bought a beta X, um, but I never really participated much in things. Um, me and Blobby, because I saw that he had been working on the game. I told Blobby, uh, "Dude, you need to go and use up all your money right now and buy as many beta axes." He's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Because Defaulty is in studio, and if you." Um, if you buy a whole bunch, then we can open up a beta shop, and people, hey, <laughs> you found my scoob. Do oh. you know the um, history of the scoob? I don't. It's it's a very long and storied one. It's um, it's not very well known, in fact. So scoob, or as is is like officially called scoobus, is a small um, fleshy head. And starting around, I think it was 2016, um, friend and member of our dis our personal like private Discord server Esteban, um, created Scubus in a 3D program to test out the program and like how it works. And we loved Scubus so much that um, um, my friend Kevin or Z Kevin, as he's known in the Roblox community, uploaded him uploaded sure. Scubus to Roblox. And for one reason or another, it became one of the most like popular and used like meshes on Roblox made by a user. And you can find it in several like big Roblox games, like I believe it's in Jailbreak and um, Arsenal, which are two very big and popular Roblox games. And now it's in Lumber Tycoon 2. Mm -hmm. yeah, I also found it on top of one of the buildings inside Cone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I never completed Cone. I should do that sometime. Oh, it's amazing. And if you ever need tips, uh, I've got a full walkthrough that you can watch. <laughs> uh, well, I might do that. Uh, do you know any tips or tricks inside Lumber that we should know about? Has Default divulged, tricks. divulged any information to you? You can tell me. Uh, I, won't, I won't tell anybody. Okay, let me tell you this tip. If you um, drop an axe on the ground... Okay. Um... You can pick it up again. <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah. Now, actually, uh, developer question. So, if I take a, a tool item that is in my hand and I drop yeah. it on the ground, normally, if it's an actual tool, I walk over it and it would pick it up. But yeah, in this game, so it does not. I believe what Defaultio does is you can you can run a script that checks when an object is moved into Roblox's workspace which is what um, happens when you drop a tool, is the tool moves from your inventory into Roblox's workspace. Okay. And so what I believe he does is um, 
he checks when an I a um, item that is a tool is put in the workspace, and he changes, he replaces it with a special lumber tycoon item like um, what what it is on the ground, so you can pick it up and move it around. An item that has something like a um, can grab integer or string item of some kind inside of it. And yeah, it's exactly. Not I knew it! I knew it! I told you all! I said it! Anyhow. <laughs> and so when you press E on it, it um, creates the tool again in your inventory. Oh, I got another false. That's weird. It's a dialogue box that just pops up and says false. Oh. Usually well, something to do Try your to best save. to not be false. <laughs> I'll try I'll try not to. Defaultio is telling me something. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be true to myself. Wait, is he calling me a zero? True false. No mm. right. <laughs> No one, no one man can truly know unless their name is Defotio. <laughs> uh, uh, did you happen to sit in on his... Uh, oh, what was it? It was his RDC panel where he uh, spoke about game development of Lumber. The game design process. No, I missed it. I'm so, I'm so mad that I missed it too. Um, I watched what there is of it on Roblox's YouTube channel. They uploaded all the panels there, but they cut out the Q&A, which from Defaulty himself, he said that's his favorite part of it. And oh. I missed it. I'm never going to hear it. No. Uh, hopefully, hopefully somebody recorded it. Like Traoris? Yeah. Or maybe, uh, maybe Rob. Yeah. I don't, was Rob there? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure who was there and who wasn't. There's a lot of people there, and I didn't get to meet all of them. Rod B. And I know uh, B Slick was there. Like, yeah, B Slick was there. I gave him a high five. I missed it. He actually was in the same state as me. And I still never met him. Yeah. But... Oh, well, someday when when I'm, my kids have all graduated and, and are out, off to college, I'll be able to go to RDCs and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Saturday. I missed out on most of the panels because uh, Kevin and myself and some others, we wanted he we all wanted to go out and see the ocean because a lot of them have never been. So we like the that hotel that RDC was at was right up against the San Francisco Bay. So we walked out there and um, they they just smashed some rocks, which sounds like a joke, but no, they they that's all they did. <laughs> We we picked up some rocks and threw them on the ground. At the beach? Yeah. I thought like any activity on the beach was illegal now. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh I, I I don't know if it was or not, but don't tell on me if it's illegal. <laughs> um back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, stay there. I'll have to move my base to actually get this one to work. Uh, do you want to go see the gold bridge? Oh, sure. Up, 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 up. Up, up here. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit hole, and it'll you'll be able to get through, but just barely. So I hear oh, people. Man, I, I hear people in the background. Oh yeah. I'm um, sorry. Uh, my whole family's in the house right now, I gotcha. and I don't have much like room between us and my computer. Not a problem. There we go. Gold bridge, so we can drive. Gold the bridge. Gold. Uh, let me increase my quality so I can see it. There it is. So that's the swamp right over there. Mhm. Mm we go to the right. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anticlimactic. <laughs> It's well, it's it's crazy engineering like this that's like makes this game so cool to me because these doors were never intended to do this, but yet they do. Mm -hmm. That are uh, long planks. Long planking is another great thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, have you seen the uh, the ability to attach a car to a door and put it below ground? Oh, is that? Yeah, that's a thing. Here. Oh, that that makes sense. Um, if this is possible, that would be. I I'd, I'd say. So hop in this car right here. Yeah. And give me a second. Okay. There we go. Okay. And 
Down you go. Whee! Oh! <laughs> That's crazy. You know what, though? I don't think there's any trees down there. No, and if you're trying to build below your base, it doesn't save. Like, oh, yeah. there used to be a time when you could um, start to move something. Like, uh, you could move a door, or move a wall, or move a platform. And then you could focus it below ground. Like, you could sit into a chair that was upside down. It would put your head underneath the ground so you could see down there. Turn the uh -huh. camera around so it's facing um, up, and then zoom way out, and you could start building on the bottom of your base because it, it, wow. it, it had negative Z or negative Y axis. Yeah. And what a bunch of exploiters did were they were putting tons and tons of blueprints underneath their base. So when you were looking up here, it looked normal. But then wow. if you looked under the base, there would be thousands upon thousands of these blueprints with these scripts in them that would slow the server down so much that you could get through the um you could get through the green oh, sorry the white box green box and you could um duplicate bases because it was slowing stuff down so much you could get it in between the uh saves oh so. yeah it's that's not good no it's been patched but um, yeah there's also a minimum of 30 blueprints per base you can only have 30 blueprints oh <sighs> There's still other stuff that keeps happening, like uh, mm -hmm. people are using external programs to inject the DLLs and steal bases by uh, getting people to whitelist them, and then they yeah. have a script that runs that just takes everything. It's horrible. That's um, that's like my number one fear with, with Roblox is exploiting, like exploiters. That's like the biggest fear of any developer is when you're building anything and you're in the like new game that you're making. You just like constantly think to yourself, can this be exploited? Can something here like be just like misused and destroy my game? Mm -hmm. That's um, one of the things that's like uh, really impressive about Lumber Tycoon 2 is that it can have all this and have um, only like a few exploits. <laughs> only a few, like ideally, it'd have none, but just a few is like impressive to me because I make. I'd make like a lot simpler of a game and just find out that the entire game can be exploited and, and just destroyed so easily because of one security check that isn't there. Mm -hmm. One one little, uh, what is it, remote event that yeah. can be called. I, uh, <clears throat> I set something up on my lumber, which is basically it's... I'm going to have to call it something else because I don't want it to be confused like I'm trying to take over this game mm -hmm. I want it to be its own creative creativity game yeah and I love the building on here yeah I, I don't like the physical constraints of having to pick everything up put it into a truck take it to your base put it down like there's no inventory whatsoever I, yeah. I like the idea of inventory because I mean mm -hmm. I can carry candy bars in my pocket. Why do I have to carry them in the back of a truck? So, anyhow. Yeah. Just um, like that. That's one of the things that's, like, impressive to me about Lumber Tycoon 2 and, like, what, one of the reasons that's so cool to me is because everything is tactile. Like, you don't... You're not given, like, a machine that does this for, like, every single little thing that you can be done. Um, things that are done, are done, like, uh, physically and, like... That's a good example. Like in in a game like Minecraft, you to like cook something, you need you just put it in a furnace, which is just one block, and, and then it's cooked. Mm -hmm. In a game like this, like you want to cook a turkey, like this turkey here, you have to drive all the way up to a volcano and put it in a volcano and wait a while, and mm -hmm. it's cooked. That's like so unique and interesting to me that it's all done physically, and it, it you just you can just like watch it happen. <gasps> wait, you can t cook turkeys in a volcano? What? Yeah. I'm just kidding. You didn't know that. I did know that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'd imagine you know that. Actually, some of the viewers might not know that. Here, uh, let's let's take one up there and go bake it. Oh, no. Well, it is dinner time for me. Yeah, yeah. and uh, let's see. Where's the snowball? Let's see. Uh, what else can we do? We can do a piece of coal. 
You're gonna murder a poor snowball? Oh yeah. I think, if I have one. Oh gosh. What I'd get a snowball in the summer. What I'd really like to see is the dynamite, like after so long, would actually light or ignite. Yeah. I don't see a snowball anywhere. Hold on. Am I just? What? Maybe I'm missing it. Oh, wait, wait. Are these them? Close the false. Ah, here it is. So there's there's a snowball. And then I will grab another one. So this will be the original, uh, original size. And then that way we can do uh -huh. a comparison. Yeah. And then we need a piece of coal. Coal, 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 coal. I know I've got coal around here somewhere. Maybe inside here? Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, oh, there we go. Nope. Can't even tell what bobblehead that is. <laughs> Hmm, well... Well, that's a, that's a already cooked turkey. I got two cooked turkeys. Oh, ha ha ha, found you. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Scoop. He's very talkative today. Right, let's drop it there. Alright. Hit the road. Hit the road, Bucket, and don't you come back no more. Uh-oh, hold on. There is an axe stuck under my tire. Uh-oh. Got it. And speed racer! Go, go! Uh, YOLO! Uh, that could have gone better. <laughs> we made it. Yay. <laughs> With minimal casualties. Or not casualties, uh, collateral damage. There we go. There we go. Oh, hold on, there's oh, a blue oh. ball under us. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that works. Uh, strike! This this is all lumber tycoonians eat is um, coal, snow, and turkey. Uh, we do occasionally enjoy a, uh, a hot cocoa with yeah. uh, with a couple of peppermint sticks in it. And a pink candy. Yeah, can candy cane. We we like the candy bars. Lots of candy bars. Yeah. That's actually the only thing we can eat. The candy bars. Yeah. That's so, that's one of the things that I, I suggested to Josh um, or Defaultio last year was um, you should add a eat function to like a lot of the other items in the game. I did too. But he was against it. Like, um, I, I feel like the, some of the like comedy of it is that you can only eat candy. <laughs> The reason I suggest it is because we had so many people who were dropping. Hold on, I see. That's not far enough in to, to take heat, so let's back it up a little bit more. Oh, there we go. How about there? And then I can put these in the back. You should see it start to take off. There we go. Yeah. So it's starting to cook. <clears throat> so we'll let those sit there for a second. Um, one of the things I was suggesting was the the eat 
was because we had so many people trying to go for that pink candy bar that yeah. the, um, the store would become so unusable. People were just buying bags and bags and bags and opening them up. And you'd only get anywhere from like three to six candy bars per bag. And they were randomized, yeah. which was awesome. Yeah, I, I loved it. I personally opened over 200 bags before I got a pink candy bar. <laughs> Same. And, and, I, and I got the pink candy bar and I protected that thing with my life. <laughs> Like, I hit it so deep within my small little base. I was so paranoid that someone would find it and eat it. Uh, did you ever get to see the effect of what happens when you eat the pink candy bar? It turns you pink, right? Yeah, it gives you like a, a pink glow into the head. Yeah. And then that's it, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it actually gives you abilities or if it has anything else that's tied to it. But I wouldn't be surprised if, like, you have to have that ability to unlock something else. That's just... Yeah. You know. Like, years from now, you'd need a pink candy bar to do something. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of thing Defaultio would do. The the long game. Defaultio plays yeah. the long game all the time. Can't tell the, ch the chicken. <laughs> I can't tell if the on fire. cooking. It's on fire, but it's it's not red yet. Yeah. It'll take a little while. Well, that was it. That function was broken for a long time too. I mean, yeah. There was a good f five months that we didn't have any volcano effects. So. And there's a lot of stuff to this game. It still makes me wonder if I, there's anything that I missed. You'd never know if there's like something way outside of the map somewhere that is just like waiting to be found. Well, he uh, he had made comments at one time, like we know about the end times. End times is down below the the bridge. Well, yeah, I've been. There were a couple of obscure tweets that were around the same time that the end times was found. That he goes, now I can't wait for the start. Like the start times, and then there was the start times. Yeah, so we we're like, well, wh where's the start times? And then we were, we were searching everywhere, and we didn't find anything for it. But lots of different thoughts. Oh, thank you, Tyler Bowman or Bo Bowan for subscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> So, uh, high school, college, what do you do? Uh, I'm in community college right now. Nothing major, but I, I wanted to learn some things, so I started. Right okay. now I'm studying music. Nice. Uh, so, general ed classes, or are you going for like a, anything, no specific degree yet? Uh, I'm not really focused on a degree, but like knowledge is what I want, and so that's why I'm trying to get thanks do you um okay so ultimately in 10 years what would you like to be doing in 10 years i'd like to um be making games that the whole world can enjoy like right now i'm starting to sort of at like this small little niche part of roblox enjoys my games and i want that to be everyone like literally anyone and everyone wants can can and wants to play and enjoy my games. That's a big goal, but it's like you know what I want to do. Oh yeah, I, like I'm not sure if Notch thought this was going to blow up in Minecraft, and yeah. I'm not sure if David Bazooki. I, yeah, I was I always want to call him Bazooka. Um, Bazooki. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he. Th thought it was going to blow up this big like you can never be sure or epic games with Fortnite. You know? yeah just a in general when you're sitting there creating the game and there's a, there's always i don't know if it happens with you um i know whenever i start new projects for work i always start out like on this one level and i'm like really strong in it i'm like okay we can get this done it's a start project i need this 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 to get started and then as you start progressing into it, it feels like there's just this 
this dip and it's like mm-hmm. you're drowning you're below sea level and it's like oh my gosh I've taken on too much um, this is, project's too big I, I've got uh, I don't have enough time um, everything that I do it seems to be backfiring one way or another there's bugs all over the place but yeah. then after a while you start to come back back out of that as you start to see the end and you get up onto about the same level where you started and you're like okay this is this is not that hard i can do this and then as you start the um the testing process the beta process you get up on this level that's just this oh my gosh it's it's about to become real it's it's on its way it's boom and then you hit like the peak when you release and everybody's like this is amazing it's awesome and then you start getting the comments and the feedback yeah, that's like I'd, I'd say that's just like a part of making games and or like making anything really is like you start something you're you've got like all this motivation to work on it and then like you or somewhere in the middle there you just like feel so lost and like nothing's working out or anything's nothing's working and that's um that's where a lot of people give up mm-hmm. but that's where you should not give up is is there because then like just like if if nothing's working out and, and like you just feel stuck sleep on it or something and like in the morning i i i guarantee it, you'd have some new ideas you'd have some idea to how to like get through what's what you're stuck on right and then writer's block and programmer's block is very much the same instance it's the same same thing it's just yeah two different medias yeah like for example um working on my game grab the child for a, a number of months, um, I just could not figure out how to get trading into the game. Like I, I thought about it on and on. Like I had I had some stuff put down for like how to trade, how to like get trading working, but I just couldn't figure out how to finish it. And just one day while I was taking a shower, I was like, "Wait a minute, this would totally work!" And it was like such a simple solution. <laughs> and that's what you. That's just what happens when you're making something, yeah. is you get stuck on stuff. Stuff that should be simple, and you you just have to think about it for a while until you find out that it is simple and that you can do it. So, another question: um, When you're working on a game, do you ever dream in code? Uh, I I don't know a lot of my dreams. I probably dream about a lot of things, but I, I just don't remember when I wake up. Um, <laughs> that's, that's. I'd one. say that sometimes. I do dream about Roblox, and I do dream about code. I know that one time I did dream about, um, I, like, I was playing Roblox. Like, I was playing some Roblox game, and then all of a sudden, I got access to, like, edit the code of the game, and then I edited the code of the game to, like, make me the best player of it. I have dreams like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to, like, be in control of everything. I think it comes from having a game genie whenever I was younger. Yeah. Uh, okay, we are at 38 minutes for the video, and I think I think we're good for our test or demo, I guess. Yeah. So, there we are. It's not glowing, piping red yet, but it is. It is red. The snowball mm-hmm. looks like it's melted a little bit, and we have a little bit of a. A golden glaze on our turkey. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say that it would um, measure at 350 degrees Fahrenheit within. Mm-hmm. Got safety first. Safety first. Yeah. Roblox community is all about safety. <laughs> it's we're we're handling this meat with a lot of care. <laughs> That's why it's in the bed of my pickup truck. Driving down the this road. This pickup truck that um, definitely has never had any gross old wood within it. Mm, all brand new wood. Yeah. Yeah. There is no dust on the road to be kicked up and in, into into the food itself. Yeah, you, you can't really see it from here, but there's a really nice fine plastic wrap around it. <laughs> hey, uh, that ball I threw. <laughs> it's trying to get away. Get over there. Oh. Oop. Ah. Oh, you kicked it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Back here. It's hard to catch when it's rolling. There we go. 
There. Alright, so... Oh, I can already tell that the, uh, the snowball is definitely smaller. Yeah. So, here's this. The snowball is reactive. Oh yeah, look at that. It melted. No! <laughs> you can stack them up, maybe make a snowman. Does it uh, use mesh collide or does it use a uh, spherical? Or I think it uses, it uses mesh, mesh collide. If you roll it around, you can notice it kind of rolls lopsidedly. Oh, wait, here. Uh, try, try like that because there's a three points Maybe. of the mesh at the top. Yay! Hey, all right. One uh, eyeball, eyeball. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! Well, <laughs> we got we got somewhat of a snowman. All right. Oh no! Yeah, you know, we can just make a snowman sleeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. A snowman who fell down. Yeah. And there. There. Now he's just taking a nap. Perfect. <clears throat> Lovely. I wonder if uh, if you were to set this on here, does it actually radiate heat? Does it know to radiate heat? I wouldn't think so, but it would be possible, maybe. It'd be something defaulty to do in the background, and you'd never yeah. know about it until somebody figured it out. And was like, "Oh my gosh, this works!" <clears throat> anyway, anyhow, okay. Um, let's <laughs> let's conclude. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon Two with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate, joined by Ma Bucket, aka Andrew, or Andrew, aka Ma Bucket, developer, Bye. clown, awesome clown. <laughs> uh, a link to his channel, Twitter and Roblox Avatar and other games shall be in the description down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. If you want, it's always been your choice. You don't have to. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. In your deepest voice, can you say the word outro? Outro. <laughs>